Hello MechWarriors, how is it going? Welcome to your daily dose of MechWarrior Online. Today guys we are playing the Piranha because I wanted to see how many lasers we can fit in a small mech and the answer is all of them. Now we're gonna take the Piranha 2 and we are having a very nasty backstabber build here. We are running 5 heavy small lasers and 10 ER micro lasers. All of the lasers are on the edge of their ghost heat limit. So we can fire 10 ER micros at the same time. You can fire 5 heavy smalls at the same time. And the weapon groups are separated from each other. So you, you know, you don't run into ghost heat problems and you have a, all of a sudden a 56.5 damage alpha strike that you can just shoot at the enemy. And if you are in the back of a um, let's say medium mag, assault mag, whatever, it doesn't matter, you open them up and then with a second volley, if they are not aware, if they don't react fast enough, you most of the time get a kill and that's that's pretty cool. It's pretty devastating what we are doing here. Of course the heat management is a bit questionable. This is more or less a hit and run mech here instead of a sustained fire machine gun shredder as the other piranhas are and uh, therefore you have to be aware when to go in and when to go out again. That's very important to keep in mind. If you're running into heat problems don't shoot the heavy small lasers anymore and only shoot the ER micro lasers because they have better DPS and uh, yeah that's basically it. We're gonna go for the skills and then uh, we're gonna drop on the battlefield, guys. It's, that's gonna be great. We have, of course, invested into the firepower tree here because I wanted laser duration and, of course, I wanted to have the heat gen nodes. And actually, that, that little bit of range, it quite helps here because we are a knife fighter. We have a lot of sharp teeth, but um, those teeth are very, very tiny. So, therefore, um, you know, every tiny bit of range helps, although it's it's not much. You, you need to be point blank anyway. Now, no survivability, of course, because if you're getting shot in a Piranha, you have done something wrong anyway. Uh, instead, we go for maximum speed tweak. We have anchor turn and kinetic burst and heartbreak. That really helps making sharp corners. And of course, we are going for full cool run because this is, again, a very spicy build in terms of heat management. Radar deprivation is crucial here because, again, hit and run. And therefore, when you run, you need to break line of sight. You need to break locks and uh, come uh, in from another angle again when the enemy, is, uh, the enemy is unaware of you. And then we are going for a double, not artillery strike, but this time air strike and double cool shot. Now why airstrike? Because if you can sneak behind an unaware enemy and drop the airstrike right behind him and he is standing there, the airstrike will go right through him and deal a lot of damage, opening him up from the back and then when the airstrike hits you follow up with the laser beam and most of the time you get a kill with that. Therefore the airstrike and no artillery, the artillery is just more spread out while the airstrike is more focused on a single line. And again, it's great for opening up assault mechs that are just standing there and doing nothing. Now, that's the build everybody. I wish you all a lot of fun in the two games that are coming. And if you have that, then don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And now it's time to hit the battlefield. All right, first game of the day. We are playing Solaris City and uh, we are playing a uh, Sold. We have another Piranha there. It's a Piranha 3 and um, he is already in the center of the map. I, however, try to make a wide circle around them. Maybe we can find an Assault mech and just quickly, and I mean really quickly, kill him. So let's see. Thing is, um, if we are getting spotted, we have a problem. We don't have ECM in the mech. It would be so cool if we could, but um, yeah, it's, it's not a thing here and therefore um, we have to be just a little bit careful. Uh-huh. Let's see. So I believe um, Assault Max will be exactly there. Oh, that's not an Assault Max, but it's a mech that I can kill. The Black Lanner. God, I hope that there is nobody behind me. Okay, I really hope that there is nobody behind me. Okay. Let's get that sight. Okay, we gotta go. And is there? No, I, I think I just got shot. Damn it! I should have gone earlier. I should have gone way earlier. But hey, we turned him around. We got a crit on the LB5, I believe it was. And we took a bit of damage in return. Sadly, they went actually to the leg. And that is not, not super good. So, let's do another attempt. Um, I think I'm far away enough to actually find another safe angle. And yeah, there are uh, more light mechs coming in. That is good. Okay, okay, okay. Maybe I should have shot my artillery. Uh, I don't know if that was uh, possible there. But um, could have been an option. Yep, there they are. I want to drop on them. I want to do... Um, this here. And dropping artillery. Or airstrikes here. Okay, so let's get behind the guy. And see if what we can do here. But first of all, finishing what we started. Getting his side torso. And then the other one. Okay, cool. And out we go again. 
Let's run. It's a light mech coming in. Uh, what is that? Is that a thing that we can fight? Yeah, definitely. It's a Kid Fox. Let's get for the Kid Fox. Kid Fox. Kid Fox. Okay. Solid damage there. I need another shot. Oh, he's dead. Okay, cool. Ooh, what a fight here. I like it. I like it. Careful with the damage, guys. That's me that you're shooting, partly. Okay, only the micro lasers here. And we got him. Micro lasers are great for heat management, by the way. Now back. Or a fourth? I don't know yet. There's a Hellbringer. There's also something else. Uh, on top of the building? Where did he... Oh, no. No, no, no. That's not a good angle to engage here. Uh, we need to find another one. How to do it? How to do it? The thing is, we need to know where they are in order to make a move. To make a proper move. I don't... Oh, oh. There's a guy behind me. He's on top. Okay. That's an Orion. A brawling Orion. I cannot contest that guy. Absolutely not. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna drop artillery here. Uh, no, it, I couldn't because it was on cooldown. So maybe we can go in their backs. Uh, Hellbringer, good target. Let's go. Uh, who's that? Um, Icarus, I'm with you. Icarus, I'm with you. Let's go. Uh, not the best laser burn in the world. We're gonna get it anyway. Okay. And uh, now we go again. Ooh, hit and run, hit and run. Dropping the airstrike behind us. And now we gotta go. <laughs> I don't know if that airstrike is gonna... Hit enemies or friends. I, I just needed to distract the enemy. I just needed to, um, yeah, just put something between me and them. All right. So far, so good. High ground again. Let's go. We need to find another target. That hunchback is going to be our next prey. Can we go for it? Shall we go for it? Answer is yes. We should. Next is the Arctic Wolf. Let's go. Oh, my God. It's actually working out. Small lasers or micro lasers here. Or the reason I told you ooh earlier. Ah! I'm almost lagged though, and we are down to <gasps> two max. Oh, and there's the help. What are you waiting there the, the whole time? Where are you waiting there the whole time? He was not moving at all. Ah, so unfortunate, guys. So unfortunate. <laughs> we got wrecked. Man, I should have stayed with the Arctic Wolf. Um there was a chance that we could have actually killed him. Damn. But okay, may maybe. Pfft. Maybe we can still do it. I mean, this guy is also having four kills here. This wolf pack worked out so, so well. That was pretty cool. That was really fun to play here. Mm, yeah, the long range is the problem. How to approach this guy? You really need to kind of get behind him, backstab him. Oh, no, no, don't go too far in the outskirts. I would have uh, made a wide circle. Oh, okay, yeah, that's smart. Getting the high ground here. That's a very good idea. Oh, there's a black laner. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Artillery? Yeah, good idea. And now he's disengaging again. Uh, actually, engaging again. Come on, dude. You can do it. I believe in you. Black Lana is actually the better target. He can take out firepower if he kills him. Ah, go for the Lana, man. Go for the Lana. Oh, and there's the Hellbringer. For the win. For the rescue. Honestly, he was pretty damaged. Look at that. This is so cool. Oh, I love that people are discovering new builds with the Piranha apart from the machine guns. That is so, so nice to see. I mean, he's running ER Micros and Small Pulses, so it's um, more or less the same thing that I'm doing, but with a different weapon combination. Uh, and he's running the three instead of the two. So, yeah. Bring it, man. Come on, you can do it. Yeah, Smoke, you see that? Here. That's the Black Lanner. Yeah, he is so fast. It has to be the Black Lanner. Nice dodge. Nice kill. So the Black Lanner is basically out of the fight. Cool. Man, he can do it. Um, Delta 2. Yep, there's Seismic. Uh, this is the Mad Cat. That has to be the Mad Cat. Oh, be careful. Mm. Oof, that was so close. No, you got lagged, buddy. Ah. Okay, uh, now it's over, I guess. Unless the Mad Cat is now getting cocky and destroyed. If he can... <laughs> Never mind. The artillery for the win. I wanted to say, if he can lure him in and get um, some bursts of damage out before he can get the other leg, then um, he actually had a chance. <laughs> okay, GG guys. That was fun. It was pretty cool. Now, we had four killing blows, uh, four kill most damage dealt, five assists, 555 damage done with 12 components destroyed. And the other Piranha... 
uh, yeah, <laughs> you can see that he was he was in the fight longer. <laughs> Nice. All right, guys, that was the first round. Let's go over to the next one and see how this will go down. All right, second game of the day. We are playing Canyon Network. We are playing uh, Skirmish. And um, you know what? I'm going to go around it. <laughs> I cannot get up there. So we want to go into the backs of the enemy. I want to backstab an Assault Mech. Maybe we can pull it off. That would be a huge advantage for the team early on. So therefore... We're gonna take a little bit of a risk here, and we're gonna go in their backs. The problem is, again, we have no ECM, and if we are being spotted by somebody, yeah, like that, uh, we have to dive down here. Okay, is this guy AFK? No, he's moving, but still. Um, yeah, I I've been spotted now, that means that um, my plan is basically compromised by now. Now, what we're gonna do instead is, uh, we wait here for a second. Um, we have some friends on the left side who are hopefully shielding us from any backstabbers that are trying to backstab me. But yeah, we want to wait a second and then we want to probably regroup. Or we wait a second and then... I don't know. This light mech there, it might be a good target for me. Um, but it is also extremely risky going in there. There's a black laner? Okay. Let's see. Let's see what we can do. Is this the guy that we saw earlier? Is it a locust? Oh. Um, that airstrike, by the way, was mildly, mildly misplaced. See there? Uh, I wanted to drop it on their heads, obviously. <laughs> oh, there he is. Okay, what was that? It was a flea. Okay, dealt a bit of damage to the flea. Sure. I'll take it. If he if he decides to come over here, uh, we can probably, probably fight him. I mean, the flea is faster than us. That's a problem. But uh, if he decides to go super close, we can actually do it. I'm just waiting for my opportunity to do something. At the moment, they are all bowled up there. And, yeah, now it's time. Uh, I dropped an airstrike, be careful. And I think it's time to push a little bit. Yeah, let's do it. No, oh, that airstrike hit a little bit. So, what we're gonna do here is... Ow! Getting blocked. Obviously. Obviously! Let me get that guy. Nope. I gotta go. I didn't put my full laser burn on the awesome, because if I did... I would have died, probably. We got the heavy PPC out, or at least one heavy PPC out. And here's the problem, guys. When you have something like a murder ball going on for the enemy team, then it's quite tough to find an angle on them. Okay, let's go. Ah, it's 175 meters. It's not optimal. But it's something. Let's do it again. Ah. That's all I can do at the moment. 200 meters. It's, um, yeah. Uh, let's do it again. Ah, that was okay. I mean, we got a bit of damage in return. But yeah, team team is not really pushing in, and uh, that's my problem at the moment. Although, I have to say, with that alpha strike, we could get him. Nice. Uh, there's the flea again. I want to go for this um, linebacker's legs, though. Let's go. Honestly, no. Let's go for... Let's go for center. Uh, enemies behind us. Who's that? A trebuchet. What are you doing there, buddy? Okay, let's go for arm lock. By the way, if you're wondering why I'm not using arm lock more frequently, uh, it's because it messes with my aim so much. I'm not used to use arm lock, and therefore my muzzle memory doesn't kick in when it comes to aiming properly. I believe a bunch of the enemies are still in the Delta 4 area. Somewhere around those lines here. Nope. There's a guy. Uh, oh my god, I was out of the fight for so long. Okay. Got a good amount of damage there. And, of course, the closer we get, the more damage we'll deal. And use the kill. Alright. 10 and 2. We can still... Um, we can still fight. And I think I saw large laser beams on uh, this area here. So, Charlie 4. Let's try to get up here. Are we fast enough? Yes, we are. Cool. But there's the flea on the right side. But I think, again, there was an enemy. Like, over here. Somewhere around. This area. I saw large lasers, but where did they go? I mean, they are not here. They are not there. Huh. Hello, large, large laser guy. Where, where did you go, man? Can you, can you come back, please? Mm, yeah, helping out with the flea would be a thing that I could do. Maybe he's dropping here. He's actually... Oh, there he is. Okay, there's the cicada. I want to get him. And I want to fight him. And maybe we get the kill here. Dude, he's down there. Yep, that's open. No, not quite open him up. Mm hmm Do it again. And we got him. Ooh. So, coming in late here. Coming in quite late, but hey, 
we, we, we did it. I mean, it wasn't really necessary. Actually, if I had done nothing in this game, it would have also been cool because my team had it. But actually, no. No, it's fine. Honestly. That damage. I honestly didn't expect so much. I was about to say, well, we dealt like four or five hundred damage, but okay, we'll take it. Now we had three killing blows, four assists, we had four kill most damage dealt and four components destroyed. That is the Piranha with the heavy and ER micro laser uh, loadout. If you liked the video, then don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you want to support me, you can consider becoming a channel member. The button is right beneath the video stage and I hope to see you on the battlefield. Goodbye.